Okay, welcome to Tinker Time with Wiley. Uh, today we're going to be working on my 91 conversion van that I've converted to RV. Um, it, I wrecked it two years ago and still in the process of putting it together. But uh, right now I'd like to focus on the interior. So, basically the setup I have right now is, in this area, is two tanks. Fresh water and what's called gray water, which is basically from the sink, no sewage. Um, but today's project I'd like to work on is the sink area. Um, the countertop that I had on here before was made out of basically floor tile, the, the sticky floor tile you get like at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. But it was starting to uh, show a lot of wear. It was peeling away. It just basically looked really gross. So I ripped off the old uh, boards that held it together and they were kind of chintzy anyway. So they needed to be replaced. So in this area here, this is where my sink is going to go. It's a little stainless steel RV sink. Um, in this area here is a pull-out drawer. Uh, and I've got junk in it right now, but uh, anyway, below that, I don't know if the light will work, is a hole for a mini refrigerator. That'll be a later project to install that. And over here, I have a 10,000 BTU uh, air conditioner that uh, I need to basically duct the exhaust heat out of the vehicle. So that'll be a later project. And also, I need to work on my pullout for the uh, computer laptop. So you can sit on the bed here and use that as a table for laptop and things like that. But anyway, uh, let me show you what's going on as far as making the top. Okay, so I have my pieces that I've pre-cut. And so the table measures 20 and a quarter inches by 35, almost 36 inches. So I have a solid piece of oak that I found in my friend's garage uh, the person that used to live there was a woodworker so they have a bunch of scraps so this is where all this came from um, so what I'm looking at now is what's going to be the best best side uh, to show for the top because each piece is kind of has its own little wear this one's chipped right here um, so I'm going to make this the top I feel like this pattern is going to match better over here with this one and this has a rip on it and probably a little hard to sand that out so it has a little yellow to kind of match the green there so I'm just going to call this the top so I'm just going to write top That's the way I always remember alright so in this area is where my sink is going to go. So I'm roughly just going to say it's somewhere in here. I haven't really planned out, but it's going to play a role is when I start joining these pieces together. All right. So, I want to use the correct tool to join these. I know a lot of woodworkers would use biscuits and all that, but I don't have the equipment to do that and these things work great for me so I'm just gonna flip each piece over so that I'm on the bottom and I'm gonna mimic kinda where I drew the sink so that I know that it's somewhere in this area for me not to put the not to put the uh, Craig markings there or the Craig tool screws in there so it doesn't mess anything up 
and a rough area here somewhere right there I'll put a little bit right here now now I'm looking at the bottom so basically I'm looking at the bottom and the correct tool works as you set you set the I don't know if you guys will be able to see this but you set the thickness of the wood so this is I'm gonna set it's three quarter um, it's marked up already set and then you basically have this drill that slides in here and goes in at an angle and drills the hole so that it basically drills the an angle and then when you put the screw in there it pulls the wood back it makes a real tight joint and also here you can see that there's a gauge and you need to move you're basically the depth of how far the screw goes in according to the thickness of the wood and I already have it set for three quarters so uh, I'm good to go there um, so what I'm going to do now is basically find places where I want to join and you know I'm, I'm no expert at anything so basically I just eyeball uh, every so often I'll get one here close and I'll probably just do one here and then on this side as well I'll just kind of mimic I may be going a little overboard okay so I have the uh, jig set up here and just to show you there's two different holes you can use so I'm just going to line one of these right here and I just simply use one of these little handy vice grips I have my correct depth set So as you can see, it drills in at an angle, and the screw will go then through. I'm going to use a one and a quarter inch screw, and it will pull that other piece back in. So I'm going to do that for all the rest of these. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've taken the two pieces. This is the, the, uh, the solid piece, and this is the oak plywood. So what I've done is I've taken these these vice grip or these uh, Irwin quick grip things and uh, I've joined the two pieces together to where it's just to where I can sand it down put my wood filler um, and be a really easy sand match you know texture um, so I've got these all lined up so what I'm going to do next is come in and join these two pieces together and then the next step I'll do the same and join the other piece that's going to go back towards the back okay now you can see that I've finished joining the pieces it took a little extra time because uh, I wanted to take the solid oak and run a three-quarter inch uh, basically a little border to hide the you know just kind of add a little touch to it um, so now what I want to do is find good placement for the sink. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have a, a spigot here that's going to be powered by a 12 volt pump, but we'll get into that later. So my tanks are under this area here. So I want to have it basically in this direction. So what I'm going to do is basically center it a little bit closer in this area just for the fact that this is kind of unusable space and if I get it closer to this area I'll have plenty of room for my pump here or my handle or my pump handle and then more area here for you know preparing stuff or have a little uh, cooking hot plate things like that 
So I'm just going to trace here, make a template of the end side where these bolts, where these bolt, where it bolts in. And uh, next time you see it, I'll probably have the uh, hole cut out and the uh, sink ready to drop in.